We move on to question 3.6 and we've got a lot of information to read here. So take your time, read with understanding, read with a pen in your hand. Patients infected with the HIV virus, HIV, are treated with antiretroviral drugs. When they miss their treatment, it can increase the chances or the probability of the virus developing resistance to the drug. Scientists conducted an investigation to determine the effect of the number of missed treatments, how many missed treatments, and if it was related to the probability of the HIV developing resistance. So there's an observation, and that observation is miss your treatments, and that seems to bring about HIV resistance to those very same antiretroviral drugs. So that is what they observed. Here is the investigation they undertook in order to find out is there a correlation between missed treatments and the resistance of the HIV, the HIV virus, to those antiretroviral drugs. Here are our results. Here's the column with the number of missed treatments in days. So there were some people who missed two days of treatments, right up to some missing 37 days of treatment. Here in this column, we have the probability of the HIV virus to developing resistance to those antiretroviral drugs. And look here, a person who has missed, say, two days of treatment, there was no resistance of the HIV virus to those anti retroviral drugs. We see that as we increase the number of missed treatments, we dramatically increase the probability or the chance of developing resistance to antiretrovirals. That is the information that you have been provided with analyze it, scribble on it, make sure that you have read for comprehension, you understand what it is that you have been reading. Now we move to the questions. State the dependent variable in this investigation. Remember the dependent variable is the one that you're going to measure. You start off the investigation not knowing what your answer or your measurement is going to be. And so before we started this investigation, we didn't know what the probabilities or the chances of developing resistance could be. They might have been zero all the way, showing us that there's no correlation between missing doses and HIV resistance to the antiretrovirals. So there were lots of hypotheses that we could have put forward, but all the time we would have had to measure HIV resistance, HIV resistance. So we would choose the amount of days that we can control. That's our independent variable. And our dependent variable probability of developing resistance is dependent on how many days we miss the treatment. That is what the scientist is going to be measuring. So our dependent variable is the probability of HIV resistance to the antiretroviral drugs. 
which is the dependent variable? Well, that for me is money for jam, because if the dependent variable was the probability, the number of missed treatments in days, there's our units in days, is the independent variable. That was nice and easy. Based on the results, state one precaution for patients receiving antiretroviral treatment. What would be, if these are our results, what would be one thing that doctors would emphasize with patients? Great, you're starting antiretroviral treatment now. The one thing you must not do, miss your dose. Because it, the more opportunities or the more occasions that you miss that dose, the greater the chance of the HIV virus that's in your body of developing resistance to the antiretrovirals. So looking at that question, based on the results, one precaution would be don't miss your antiretroviral dose. Take it regularly. State a conclusion for this investigation. We would say, and we've got to in a conclusion, link our two variables. So we would say that with the increase in missed doses, we see that there is an increase in the chance of developing HIV resistance to antiretroviral drugs. So we've got a positive correlation here. Um, an increase in the missed doses leads to an increase in HIV resistance, and you'll get a mark for each one stated correctly. And our very last question says, describe the evolution of resistance, sorry, that went away, describe the evolution of resistance to antiretroviral medication in the HI virus. What we're doing here, you will have done in class looking at examples like resistance to insecticides with mosquitoes. You would have done this with examples of antibiotic resistance. Those are the examples of resistance building up or evolution of resistance in the textbook and in the syllabus. Now what you have to do is apply your knowledge of resistance to the situation of antiretroviral medication. So this is an application kind of question. So basically what we have is a population of HIV, okay? In that population, there will be genetic variation. And the genetic variation could me be that very few organisms, HIV, viruses, in this population could have some kind of gene that gives them immunity or resistance to this particular medication. We now take the ARV and that ARV starts ensuring that all these little viruses are unable to replicate, make more of themselves. And so the ARV is now combating HIV growth, the numbers of the HIV virus in a person's body. So it's going to be slowing down the eventual development of the AIDS syndrome. Now, if we've got a few that could have the gene that confers immunity, so we've got some HIV that are slightly modified genetically, 
they're not identical genetically to the HI viruses that the antiretroviral manages to keep under control. And if these organisms, these slightly genetically modified HI viruses, are able to start replicating in human cells without this antiretroviral medication affecting them, then the population that is going to start expanding is all filled with modified HIV viruses that are resistant to that antiretroviral medication. So it took one mutation to enable the population to start growing numbers of organisms in the population that have that resistant gene. And that brings us to the end of question number three.